Did you terminate uh, the angels in waiting? Um, well, I was under the impression, you know, you can't terminate a, a, an organization that's that are volunteers. They're a nonprofit organization that wanted to, you know, implement their services. And um, once I found out how instrumental Kaiser was going to be in providing all of the support I needed to take care of my babies, then I didn't feel as though their services were needed anymore. Is there anything that you remember that they said specifically to you that oh, made boy. you upset mm -hmm. or yeah. uncomfortable? Yesterday, and this is, what, this is the truth, yesterday I was on the verge of um, calling, um, you know, going to the police and and um, filing a restraining order against them. I was so fearful. Well, what the did they say to you? The night before, um, Linda, who's the founder of Angels in Waiting, was there, and she was stating to me, she was saying many unprofessional Things and I felt almost um, unethical. She was saying that they're going to be abducted, and if they most likely will be abducted, that's, I believe, just an opinion, but it did scare me, and it made me feel almost nauseous when she said that because she harped on it. She didn't just say it once. She count, counted ten times over and over, and then she said that who, quote-unquote, who wouldn't, what Cauca Caucasian woman wouldn't want Noah, and she pointed to Noah. What? Hispanic women wouldn't want Isaiah, and she pointed to Isaiah, and I got chills all over, and it made me feel very uncomfortable. I was in the nursery, and she was right in front of me, uh -huh. and she was about to go to sleep, and she slept all night, and, and during that time, I was up with the babies all night, and my nanny so was with me, and, and after that, she said, and once they're abducted, you won't be able to trace them. That was extraordinarily disturbing to me, mm -hmm. and I'm basically quoting what she said. And my nannies were right there. So after the, she made that comment, was that kind of... That wasn't it. The next morning, after she woke up and she was about to leave, um, my nanny informed me after the fact that on her way out, she opened her purse and said, look, um, one of the babies would fit just perfectly in my purse. And I almost threw up. And then I wanted to... I called my attorney, and he immediately terminated their services. That was it. And then I couldn't let them in the house anymore. It was a nightmare. The original agreement um, that Angels in Waiting had, it was, their plan was originally to provide 24-hour wraparound nursing care for these medically fragile infants. However, my babies are not medically fragile at all. Mm -hmm. well, the neonatologist actually instructed me not to go with Angels in Waiting. He strongly recommended that. I shouldn't say instructed. Because he felt as though they only needed you know, the nurturing and support and caring of, of very experienced nannies and myself. What types of things did they do when mm -hmm. they were in your house that made you feel uncomfortable? Um, they were... Anything well, specific? Yeah, I felt as though I was constantly being interrogated and because my my nannies, which I provided my on my own, uh, were telling me that there were many conversations which I was unaware of. You see, there was a, a lack of open communication with mm -hmm. angels in waiting. Whenever they had something to say to me, they would go around me to my nannies. I felt that was, I personally felt that was unprofessional. All the nur many nurses from Kaiser came together and told me, social workers, they almost did an intervention. Mm -hmm. I was, I tend to be too trusting, almost naive, and I, I felt as though their offer was genuine and authentic, and it turned out later that it wasn't. They would, um, every time I entered the nursery, they'd stop talking when I entered. Um, I felt as though I couldn't adjust, I couldn't, I couldn't be comfortable in this new home, in my home. Mm -hmm. I felt as though they completely took over my home. The, the nursery took over the babies. They became almost obsessive with the babies. How could anyone want to live like that? Mm -hmm. This is my home, not theirs. And almost, I felt, it's just an opinion, I felt as though they were doing what they could to set me up to fail. And I almost went to the police to file, you know, maybe a restraining order. I was very fearful. So how are you and the babies now? Oh my, what happened was after they left, after I politely asked them to leave, um, I was able to finally bond with the babies for the first time since they've been out of the hospital. And I was in the room all night long and I was able to be with the nannies and have very, there was just positive energy all over. And then at that moment I realized that AIW brought in very negative energy and I, I was able to then really relax, breathe, and just enjoy them for the first time and take care of them the way I feel as a mom they should be taken care of. Mm -hmm.